Sunday, everybody. So, to give an update on the puppers, I'd say she seems to be in pretty good shape. She hasn't been whining at all in terms of her wound, her injury. She's pretty much just behaving normally as usual, which I love. So, for the most part, I've just been having her lay on the couch or I have her do a little bit of place as well throughout the day because even though place is a command, it's still relaxation for her. Also, since it's lower to the ground, I tend to like that better than when she's on the couch. And actually when she's getting off the couch, I don't really want her jumping down as much. I usually help her down. So I am really fail. This is something that I really want to get better at not making the mistake of where sometimes when I'm recording and I zoom in on Riley or something and then I decide to record myself, I am just fully in the frame and I hate it when it turns out that way, but I always forget. I talked about some stuff earlier, but I'm going to re-record because I don't like using footage where my face takes up the whole frame. So first off, it turns out that my brother will be coming here in April, uh, around April 12th. And he said that he will be here for a week and then he's going to be in LA for a wedding. So he's probably just making a pit stop and he wants to explore the area. I cannot, more like don't really want to take a week off work just because he's coming here all of a sudden. So he will just be doing his own thing throughout the week and over the weekend actually, he wanted to go to Joshua Tree National Park and I've never been there, so I was thinking, sure, we can do that. Although initially I was thinking we would just be there for a day, which is maybe exhausting because it is a three hour drive one way, but he decided that maybe we should just stay one day overnight. So I was like, all right, let's do that. And I found an Airbnb house that would allow dogs because since it's an overnight thing, I wanted to just take her with me, not really a big deal, have her just stay there crated and then we can go exploring the desert. When it comes to my brother staying over sometimes, I have this really bad habit of negative preconceived notions and that is kind of based off experience as a teenager and an adult. He was just always very inconsiderate with noise and that stuff does really bother me. Noise stuff is something I really dislike. So I don't remember if I've talked about it in previous videos, but anytime we spent time as a family, he would sometimes randomly start playing a video on his phone very loud when me and my mom are trying to have a conversation. And stuff like that really pisses me off because it's very rude. I think that's very rude. I just don't know if he's fully aware that doing something like that is rude or if he does, he doesn't care, which is maybe just as bad a mentality. Whenever I think of being in the same living space as him, I do tend to think of these things. And even though I don't want to think so negatively before it even happens, I do tend to think I have good reason for believing he will be that way. So I am a little bit nervous about it. So aside from that, I was told from Shane that within these next few weeks, there's going to be a flower bloom thing going on in the desert out east for, I'd say late March to early April. It has been raining a lot and I was looking up some pictures of what this bloom might look like and it actually looks really pretty. So I think the area where I would try to check it out is Anza Borrego, which is a place that I've been to. It was that desert hike that I did by myself without Riley because dogs weren't allowed there, which was a good choice because desert is a horrible place for dogs to hike. And honestly, I was very unhappy hiking there too because there was spiky shit all over the ground. The hike that I was doing, I had to scale a lot of rocks. I'd say for me as a hiker, I like easy hikes because I just want to take a stroll around something beautiful. I'm not really a big fan of climbing rocks and testing my physical prowess. That was uh, an unpleasant surprise, but this time I wanna go and I figured along the way, I might as well go hike there also. But I'm gonna wait a couple more weeks just to see if the flowers will bloom even more before I drive out to go see that. But on the other hand, 
There's this other place in Carlsbad that is called the Flower Fields. This one is gonna be a little different because it's maintained by humans, so it's gonna look really neat and really pretty also in a different way, but I still wanted to go see that because it sounds so peaceful standing in a field of flowers and I can just see myself being in awe of all of that stuff because even driving along the highway nowadays, I've noticed a lot of yellow and orange flowers just popping up along the side of the highway and it looks really nice and even something small like that I can appreciate so if I go see this flower field I think it'll be super nice. One more thing I wanted to talk about that I was thinking about a lot these past few days was I wanted to send a thank you package to that woman that helped me on Wednesday with Riley because I honestly still feel really touched by her helping me and what she did and even though in person while she was driving me back to my car I was thanking her so much because I've just never been in an emergency situation like this before to need the help of a stranger and even without our help there is a possibility that things would have still been okay I do think that I prefer this outcome where she was able to get me back to my car so I am more in control of the situation rather than me just being on the trail and waiting for an hour for the people to come. That would have been way more uneasy on me and my mind, I would think so. I am so grateful to her. I feel like she's someone that I would never forget. Maybe it seems like I'm blowing the situation out of proportion in terms of how severe it was, but I've just never been in a situation like this. I've never had an emergency before where I was in dire need of help and I was concerned about the well-being of something else. So that's kind of why I'm taking this situation very, very seriously and she really, really touched me. I talked with her a little bit while we were driving. So I asked her about what she was doing, what her name was, and she said that she worked at the local high school. She did tell me her name, but I got it mixed up and I thought her name was Holly and I wanted to find her. So last night I was doing a little bit of stalking. I will say that I really enjoy stalking. <laughs> Sometimes whenever I was bored at work, over the past few years, I would always just go on Facebook and stalk people. So maybe I would look at people from my high school, see what they look like now, see what they're up to. They, some would have babies already, some would be married already, and I just like to stalk people. So for her, I was having a little bit of difficulty because I got her name wrong or I forgot it and I was looking at the school website, I was looking at their staff directory and I knew that her name started with an H but I obviously had the first name wrong so it was kind of hard to find her. Not every single staff member even had a picture up so hers did not have a picture but I managed to find her because I took a guess at this random name and I plugged it into Facebook and recognized her picture. I wanted to send her a thank you note and I wanted to send her maybe a package of some sort that she could enjoy. So I was talking to Shane about it and he said maybe just send her an edible arrangements, which I know is not very original, but I don't know anything about her. So I kind of have to send something generic like that. I know that she is a uh, world history geography teacher, so I was looking on Etsy and I saw this pendant that was personalized by letter and it was a globe and I was thinking of getting her that, but just because she's a world history geography teacher doesn't actually mean she's super passionate about that stuff, so I'm not even sure if that would be a good gift idea. So. I was thinking of just doing maybe chocolate covered strawberries or something like that and I wanted to, mm. sorry, <laughs> I wanted to write her a letter first here at home before I go to edible arrangements in person but I also wanted to call the school first because I want to ask them what the procedure is for wanting to mail something to her so I don't know what I would write on the address and stuff like that. So I kind of wanted to ask them and see what they would say before I go there and give the letter and tell them to send it with. But yeah, I think for me, what I was thinking is that when I was driving in the car with her, I didn't necessarily want her to just be like a person that would come and go out of my life just that one day. I'm not necessarily saying I want her to become a friend or anything. 
that would probably be a little far-fetched because you guys know how picky I am about that stuff and that would be a weird circumstance to become friends over but I just really wanted her to know how I felt that day that I'm so grateful about everything and thinking about what she did for me always makes me feel very emotional so I just really want to give something back and make sure she knows that I will never forget what she did for me so it made me really happy last night to see that I found her even though maybe it seems stalkerish <laughs> maybe not because honestly if you know the right things to look for it's not hard to find somebody but yeah that's something that I'm looking forward to doing this upcoming week and actually Shane's birthday is coming up at the end of the month as well so I got him a card and I will probably write him something as well because I like writing letter like things and it feels more personal and hopefully he doesn't watch this video so it doesn't spoil the surprise I kind of doubt he would all right I think that is it for my updates for now and I will focus on smash now that the stream is back up